today I really want to get my bedroom organized. I'm trying to go around the house and get things more organized. I feel like organization is much like decluttering in that it is much like peeling an onion, but you're kind of maybe going in the opposite direction of covering the bulb. I don't know how that goes, but I've got my space decluttered and I got, if you remember, I got all the office stuff out. So then I was able to organize the office. So now I really want to organize the bedroom. There's some things that just aren't working for me. This is a super small bedroom. It's like a nine by 10. And we have a queen size bed, which isn't that big. I don't even, I could do a king size bed. But I think it would take up the whole room. So I do have some organization ideas. Another thing I'm really thinking about, as I thought through the fact that with an injured knee, I'm not really going down to the basement much, although I'm like mentally gearing myself up to try it at some point. But anyway, I'm thinking about what can I do to organize my main living space so that some of the stuff in the basement can actually come up here. Because the way that I kept my house looking simple and decluttered was to put everything in the basement. So now I'm trying to strike some balance. I've got the basement 75% mm, decluttered, at least the stuff I can control. Now I really want to get each room of my house organized and some of that stuff might be able to be stored in the main house if it can look neat. I'm not one that likes to see the clutter. I like all the doors shut. I want, I don't, I don't mind a clear bin and like a pantry when it's behind a closed door because I see the value in being able to see right what's in it. But when it comes to when I walk into a room, I don't want to see any clutter. The only clutter I want to see is throw pillows. <laughs> so let me show you what I got going on. My idea is to put my off-season clothes on the top. Right now I had the pocketbooks up there, but that to me is a little messy. So those might end up coming down into the closet. And you've seen it before. I decluttered quite a few times, but since I cleaned out my office space, then maybe these things can come down into my little drawer. And also I thought about putting my supplements also in that middle drawer, which right now is empty. But you see, I've got a mess going on. I'm completely overdoing this, having any spare any because I haven't been making my bed as much so I've got all this mess going on and I don't like it so this stuff is probably going to end up under the bed in a container I have this to deal with dirty laundry these are brand new pillows that you're going to see in this video and then a couple of things here that need to be cleaned up I had to move my husband's phone that was charging because I was doing the bed because as you can see there's really not a lot of space between the bed and the wall and I'm actually thinking about moving the bed see I have a window here a window here so honestly the only way I could move the bed so that it's not in front of a window would be to bring a kitty corner coming out like that so once I've cleared the room I might actually experiment with that not sure so either way I need to get it moving so I say so all the time so if I so I say so all the time if I ever make a mug of sayings for this man or mom it would probably just say so dot 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 <laughs> all right this is the easy part just do the laundry and my supplements and such are going in here oh I need to vacuum Okay, maybe not as much goes in here as I thought. Now this one's bugging me and it needs to be vacuumed out anyway. Change of plans. Supplements are gonna go here. Honestly, I could probably take them out of the bottles. I don't know. And then these, <laughs> I put on when I'm going to bed on my knee. Let me get these neat. I 
then these creams and such could go in here along with things from my closet that I want to put in here. And then here's two more hair things. All right, so this is coming down. This should go in my office. I got little jewelry, bits and bobbles. We'll see what fits. This is my original YouTube camera, but it's not really built for video. So it shuts itself off after like five minutes. Okay, this can go in my office. Then I have jewelry. So that obviously is staying. This jewelry is jewelry I don't want to hang up here. And then this I should probably let go of because it's probably expired, but I can't. And then my rings are in here. Not exactly a jewelry box girl, as you can see. This is the charger for my massager. So let's put it right in there with it. Oh yeah, this works. Okay. Nice. So cream, perfume, jewelry. Then supplements, things I use at bedtime. Scrunchies that I usually use when I take a shower if I'm not washing my hair. And then this, there's a Bible and reading glasses, that sort of thing. As I started into trash, here's more trash. And more trash. Dryer sheet here. These are sample perfumes. My husband gets me samples sometimes, but I'm sure these are expired. It's been more than a year. This heating pad got thrown in there, but we had decided this was really old and no longer reliable. We replaced it. So this is going in the trash too, because I'm concerned that it's not safe. Now this, <laughs> this is a heat, uh, weighted blanket and one of my girls had gotten it and then they decided they didn't like it after all. Boy, I'm gonna talk to my husband about this. I feel like we should get rid of it. Nobody wants it. Maybe we can give it to someone and then it won't be so bad to get rid of it. For now, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Then these I bought. I bought these for each of the girls to make a t-shirt with my Cricut. I think they're gonna go in my office and we're gonna schedule a day to make t-shirts. These need to go in the bathroom. I just realized my idea to move the bed won't work because it's just too small because I would never be able to fit our little end tables and our lights so I'm afraid we're stuck with it blocking the window because over here it doesn't fit for the same reason so it's just small closet problems that I'm gonna have to learn to deal with. <laughs> These can go on the bed. These need to get put away. Does anyone else find it interesting that I just honestly did a closet declutter here I am again but I'm telling you, it just, it's always a cycle. It never ends. And I was just watching a live with Clutterbug and she said that to keep up with your home, not even to declutter after like not having to clutter for five ever, but to keep up with your home, 30 bags, garbage bags go out of the house every year. So I want to keep up with it, but I've been really focused on decluttering, not so much on organizing. I really want to get my organization muscles strengthened. Just think how much I'll be able to help you guys if I'm good at decluttering and good at organizing. So I'm going to start where I am. I'm not going to worry about that it's not perfect. And I'll go back and do it again and do it again and do it again, right? Until it is or until I don't need to do it anymore. I don't know. <laughs> But now that I've gotten the non-clothing items out of here, I had this, I like it. So I'm gonna put a second one here and then I can do pajama pants in one, pajama shirts in the other. And one of the reasons I really wanna use those white containers is that I already have them and I don't have to buy anything. My plan for this is I have one in my downstairs bathroom, a tall one that I use for toilet paper. And I'm gonna be putting this eventually upstairs in the linen closet, also for spare toilet paper. 
We're getting it recarpeted on May 17th, the stairs, hallway, and closet. So I want to reorganize that closet after that happens. There's a stay tuned. I should probably decide if we should paint it first, but again, stairs, it's upstairs. We'll just have to see what I can do. But in the meantime, this is gonna be for toilet paper, which is one of the reasons I wanted to empty it. Even though they don't fit in here great, I just like the idea that they're at least semi-contained. Maybe I'll have to get measure and get bigger baskets later. But for now, I'm okay with this. I just got an idea that I can actually put my slippers in the middle. We'll see if I continue to like that idea, but slippers in the middle, pants here, shirts here. All right, now let me show you what I got for my off-season clothes that are gonna go on top of this. I got this basket at Marshall's. I have priced these out online and square baskets can be very expensive, but this at Marshall's, can you see that? I don't have, I don't have my glasses on to see if that's showing. Hopefully it is. Okay, I got it for $14.99 at Marshall's, which I thought was a really great deal. I, got, I had my husband bring the off-season clothes upstairs from the basement. I took this out of my closet because I know I'm not going to wear this. I am already concerned because it's winter, and this is not that big a basket for sweaters. So we'll see. All right, so spring stuff will go in the closet. I already know I'm going to need more hangers. My summer stuff. Oof. Oh dear. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna need another basket. All right, of course it's not bad, it's because <laughs> there's my big old pile of t-shirts now. So I want to break into these pillows and we're gonna use them tonight and I will let you know what we thought of them. But this is from a company named Max Z's and all their information will be in the description box. They are bamboo pillows. My husband and I are gonna try them tonight. Ooh, they're flat when you get them and then they poof when you take them out, which I think is the coolest thing. And Maxi's is actually doing a giveaway. If you live in the United States, so all of my friends in all Germany, Australia, England, Canada, I'm sorry and elsewhere. I'm sure there's other countries I'm forgetting. We're going to do our own giveaway soon. But anyway, this, all you have to do to be entered in the giveaway, wow, these are soft, is to leave a comment to this video. You need to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and you need to be subscribed to Max Z's YouTube channel, which will be linked in my description box below. And they're going to be giving away three pillows in honor of Mother's Day. So I'd like to thank them for the free pillows. They are super soft. I'm looking forward to sleeping on this. And then I'll let you know what we thought of them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And best wishes to all of you for the three pillows that they have chosen to give away. Happy early Mother's Day. So we really love the pillows and I didn't even tell my husband that we had new pillows. He thought he had gotten my pillow by mistake when I asked him this morning what he thought of it. And he was like, man, it felt like I had a hotel pillow. I thought you had a nice one and I had gotten it by mistake. So we did really like them and all of the information for the giveaway and the 20% off and the website will be in the description box. 
Okay, it's break time for me, and I'm always going to mention my break times now because I want you to know I do take them. Don't go anywhere. We're going to get this room organized in this video. I really hope this is giving you motivation, inspiration to get your bedroom organized more, figure out what might work better for your space. If you like what you're seeing, if you could go ahead and hit that like button, then I'll know to make more organization videos. Also, if you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Click on the bell and select all notifications after you click subscribe and YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video and you won't miss it. All right, I'm back from my break and it was probably, it's like one o'clock right now. So it was about like a two hour break cleaned up the kitchen, I made lunch, actually I rested, then I made lunch, then I cleaned the kitchen, refocused myself, sat down with my planner again to figure out what I need to do today. So that felt good and now I'm ready to finish up the bedroom. Although I probably have as much to do as I already did. But it gave me a minute to think about those t-shirts. So until I get another basket, I'm going to fold them neatly and put them right there. Step one is to get them folded and in a neat pile. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm just gonna slide them in there. I'm gonna put basket on my to-do list and plan what day I'm gonna do that and not gonna worry about it another minute. And this is why I love a planner, is I can go ahead and put it on whichever day. I'm gonna look and see when I'm gonna be in town again and I can just grab it when I'm in town. No special trip because I don't live close to anything. <laughs> and I can get those folded and feel like things are organized. I'm also going to make sure I put my favorite t-shirts on the top. That way, I don't have to worry so much about, up, you know, upending every t-shirt. But it's still quite cool here. It's going to be 66 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow. Well, that's like the warmest it's been in quite some time. So I'm not too worried about needing these right away. on the bottom I wear these under dresses and then I can just have like bare feet and sandals and be nice and comfy and not have to wear nylons which I find super uncomfortable who knows maybe you'll start seeing me in these t-shirts again during videos shadows way too long you always thought that you were weak but babe you're wrong yeah you better step into the light just give it a try think that it's time you let that spark out you've been hiding in the shadows way too long When I get the next basket, I'll take the top layer off of this and put it in the basket so that you're not seeing clothes peeking out over the top. Not a big fan of that. I'll we'll put this over and put Teddy up here. I can't handle it. <laughs> I can't stand seeing it peeking out like that. <clears throat> so, can I still see? Okay, that's much better. So if I... Let's see if this basket can outlast me. Bathing suit, that could go with the t-shirts. Okay, is that better? Yeah, that's better. It's going under my bed. Always need under the bed storage. 
always. Now what I really wanted to put under here, let me show you, and I'm just gonna put it on top. This will be, you know what? This is not one of those YouTube channels where everything fits perfectly and goes perfectly and it's just not, because it's not my life. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the real thing. I am getting another basket. And the t-shirts are small and they won't take up a lot of space. But I don't mind putting the blanket, my extra blankets on my bed, but there's one that doesn't match my comforter because my comforter is white and the blanket is cream and I don't like that. So I'm putting it in here and under the bed and my husband and I had an idea because what I don't like, I don't like sliding it back and forth a ton of times because then I'm afraid it's gonna leave marks on the floor. It's my phone. So what we're doing is, and I don't know where he put it, but we're going to put a piece. We have some extra, you know, the padding that you do put under a rug. When we got our big rug in the living room, we had extra that we had trimmed off and my husband refused to get rid of it because he's like, we're going to use it someday. Guess what? Today is that day. We're going to put rug liner under this. It doesn't have wheels, but even if it had wheels, I would want to do it because the wheels going back and forth over time in the same spot is going to leave marks on the floor. So we're going to use a rug liner under the bed to put this on so that when I'm sliding it back and forth, I'm not making grooves in the floor. <laughs> so when he gets home, he dropped Yvonne off at work and he's picking up a grocery order for me. But when he gets home, we're going to do that because I don't know where he put the piece. So I will slide it under here for now. That, my friends, was small bedroom survival. I always wonder how those people live in those tiny houses. <laughs> my last little declutter is a basket that I have avoided every single time I've decluttered my bedroom. It's that guy right there. Not big, but still, it needs to be decluttered. Okay, this goes back in my pocketbook. I had taken like everything out of my pocketbook because it was so heavy and like my license was in there. This is a gift. This is curriculum that needs to be returned to somebody. Other curriculum that uh, I might use next year. I don't know. All right. These get put. Oops. Take out any credit cards here. All right, so I've got a little trash bag, receipts, old mail, coupons. You know, if you just keep something long enough, <laughs> it becomes trash. Oh, this is the measurements for my shelving in the basement. Keep that. These are little scripture cards that can go with my Bible. This is that stuff you used for like cleaning keyboards and such, so I need to put this with cleaners. Tape can be put with tape. This stuff, yeah, see, it's just in the wrong place. So I have places for this stuff. Oh, this is important. This is my cabinet, so I wanted to get a little um, thing of touch-up paint. That is a ruler that's 15 inches. Nobody needs that. Old checkbook. That with my records. So a lot of this was just stuff that had never been put away. Big surprise. I got paid 26 cents to do this job. <laughs> and then these little notebooks I got at a bookstore. I love these little things. I use them for like sermon notes or to-do lists. So this will go in my office. All right. And then the only thing I have a question on is this is a gift I got. So I got to figure out where I'm going to put gifts like for Christmas. That was easy. It's just stuff that needs to be put away. I'm going to spend five minutes and put that stuff where it goes. This, I have no idea where I'm going to put presents, like gifts that I'm going to collect. So i got to figure that out because I don't want it somewhere where it looks messy. But this was trash. So let me go spend that five minutes. i got to figure out 
what's going to happen to this little beauty. Since I fell when I was on my way to Alabama, ever since I got home back in March, I haven't really felt like my room was even its normal amount of clean and organized. And just getting unpacked and everything was such a huge ordeal. So now I'm feeling really good about my bedroom. Maybe I could put a plant or something in the corner and the bed's all made and so I just have the one pillow because I put the other one in my office. I put the two blankets at the bottom and this is all organized now. And then yes, I need to get a second basket but I still feel so good about having the basket of winter clothes and then my pocketbook there. And then as I open my very, very small closet, <laughs> There's my pajama pants and shirts, slippers, and then everything is nice and neat. And my t-shirts are tucked in over here, folded nice and neatly. Remember, as always, that God loves you, and I love you too. And I can't wait to see you next time.